So with uh, this channel, Jack of All Trades, Master or None, uh, I just kind of wanted to put something up that helps everybody get through that honey-do list. Um, mine's about three pages long. I, uh, I work out of town, so I'm gone for long periods of time, so it accumulates when I show up at home. So the project today is toilet seats. Uh, me and my wife, we have uh, four kids and they're all going through, well, two have finished Pawnee training and that's where we discovered these seats and we have another two that are going to start. So we are in a new house and they don't have these seats. They, we got them from Mayfair, uh, the wife bought them. They were a pretty good deal. I think she waited, they were on sale for 20 bucks or $30 and uh, they fit a regular toilet seat. Um, and they're really easy to install. Measure your uh, seat accordingly before you order them. Uh, different shapes, different seats, so on and such. So what I recommend before starting any toilet project is clean the toilet. I know it's a no-brainer, but Lysol, lots of it, toilet clean. Make sure you get the stuff underneath because when you go to uh, turn them bolts, it's gross. So just make sure you just spray point and start cleaning. Clean all over the place. Make sure you get the monkey spots right under there and under there. And if you're worried about the little kid splash that was all over the place around it, don't worry about it. We can get that around too, everywhere around. Don't be shy. So, before you start this, you want to clean under here. You want to clean around there. You want to clean everywhere. So to be forewarned, these two tabs right here and right there, you're going to want to lift them up. When you lift them up, it's going to be gross. Alright, flat blade screwdriver of any sorts. Doesn't have to be insulated like this one, but flat blade screwdriver. Flex up like that. Okay, there might be different manufacturers. They might flip either way, but you just got to flip them back. And they're gross. So you're going to take your flat blade screwdriver and into there. This one takes the Phillips, but flat blade also works. On the back side, once it gets loose and turns, you'll have to grab the nut. It's hard to see, but under here, there is a nut. So hopefully you cleaned it or it's going to be gross. Alright, so this is what my nut looks like. There's different variations, but... Uh, yeah, so we got that one loose, we'll have to get that one out, and the toilet seat will come off. Alright, now no matter how much you clean, that spot and that spot are always going to be dirty, as well as underneath where the nuts were removed. So this is a great time to clean it off. So when you remove the toilet seat, what I do is I put it in the box that the new one came in. So if there's any spots that you miss cleaning, it's not just kind of floating around. Uh, unfortunately, it's toilet. It doesn't matter how good you clean it. It's still going to be dirty somewhere. So this is the toilet seats we're installing. Uh, they have the little kid uh, thingy that goes right in there, the little kid flap. Okay, it goes right on there. And then when it's down, it's a built-in kid seat. Okay, first thing is there is the instructions with the nuts and the bolts. So we'll take a quick look at them. So they're pretty straightforward instructions. They have pictures, which is great for a guy like me. Um, they show that you need a wrench and a socket and stuff. Personally, I just put it back in with the screwdriver. They're just plastic bolts, so you don't want to strip them out. Okay, so disclaimer for this video, make sure that you read the manufacturer instructions all the way through fully so you can't blame me. All right, so first part of the instructions, you want to flip up the little tabs here. You want to put these studs in here. And they go inside. Just gonna take them, shove them in until they click. They should be, you should see them at the top there. Close the little lid. Okay, same with the second one. Take it. Click it into place, close the lid. Okay, next part's pretty easy, round peg, round hole. Put them into place. Okay, take your nut, put it underneath. 
screw it up into place. Little trick that I learned, I just take the screwdriver and I take the screwdriver and I just turn it into place while holding the nut on the bottom side with my fingers. It's a lot easier than trying to get up in there with a ratchet. Alright, with this one tightened down and that one tightened down, I'm going to put the caps down. Okay, with this toilet seat here, soft closed lid. Okay, one of the main reasons why we got this toilet seat is because we have little boys and one of them slapped their pee pee in the toilet seat so we converted everything to soft clothes for him. Next part, putting in the trainer seat, there is a little slot for that to go in to the other little slot. Alright, that just clips into place. This part is not soft clothes, but there's a little magnet, holds it up into place. Then, soft close, puts the seat down. Okay, remove your stickers. Wipe down your surfaces, and you're done. So we got five of these seats now. Um, two in our old house, three in this new house. Um, I think it's fantastic for little ones that are learning how to potty train um, and for little boys especially um, you know nobody likes getting slapped in the toilet seat so hopefully uh, this kind of helps you pick out a toilet seat and a quick install and they're pretty simple easy to do uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah we'll uh, start working through the uh, honeydew list and hopefully the jack of all trades can Kind of give you some pointers.